Hi, it's me Tina Amir and welcome to my channel. So for today, we're going to learn about house and this is vocabs video. But before I begin, for this video, I'm just going to use informal pronunciation. For those of you who still not clear yet, what is informal pronunciation? Please watch my number 53 video, which is about confusing pronunciation. So for this week, we're going to focus on vocabs. So for this video, we're going to learn about house. House in Malay is rumah. rumah. So first one is chloril. Chloril. Penyidai baju. Penyidai baju. Penyidai baju. Next, grass. Rumput. 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 Number three, stone. Batu. Batu. Next, roof. Atap. Atap. But some people also say bumbu. Bumbu. And if it's roof ties, then we say atap genting. Atap genting. Next, lamp. Lampu, lampu, lampu. Number six, wall, dinding, dinding, dinding. Next, door, pintu, pintu. Next, garage. In Malay also, garage, garage, garage. Number nine, window. Tinkap, tinkap, tinkap. But you will find this word also, jendela or jendela. So this is formal word for everyday conversation. We use the word tinkap, tinkap. Number 10, padlock, manga, manga. In another word, it is ibu kunci, ibu kunci. Next, stairs, tangga, tangga, tangga. Next, drain, longkang, longkang, longkang. Next, key, anak kunci, anak kunci, anak kunci. Before we learn about padlock, padlock is mangga or ibu kunci. So, key is anak kunci. So, it's mother and the son or the daughter. But anyway, for everyday speaking, people don't mind much. Most of the time, we just say kunci, kunci. But we refer to anak kunci, not the whole thing. Next, aerial. In Malay, aerial, aerial and Antenna. Antenna. Next, chain. Rantai. 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 Next, no. Tombol. 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 So, if it's door, no. Tombol pintu. Tombol pintu. Number 17, poko. Three. Poco. Poco. So, if it's flowering plants, then you say poco bunga. Poco bunga. If it's flower pot, then you say pasu bunga. Pasu bunga. Pasu bunga. Next, gata. Palung. Palung air hujan or Talang air hujan. Or some people just say palung. Or palung air. Or talang air. Or talang air hujan. Some people also say the word gata. So it's basically to carry off the rainwater. Next, blinds. Kerai. Kerai. So if it's wooden blinds, kerai kayu. Kerai kayu. Kerai kayu. Next, awning. 
kajang, 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 or sengkua, sengkua, sengkua. But many people also say awning. Next, fence, paga, paga, paga. Next, gate, pintu paga, pintu paga, pintu paga. Next, pillar, tiang, tiang, tiang. Next, thread or step, anak tangga, anak tangga, anak tangga. So, it's basically the parts where you set your foot on the stairs. Semen floor, lantai semen, lantai semen. Lantai semen. Next, grill. Kekisi. Kekisi. But, people normally say grill. Next, letterbox. Peti surat. Peti surat. Peti surat. Next, tile floor. Lantai jubin. Lantai jubin. Lantai jubin. Next, drain pipe. Pipe saluran air. Pipe saluran air. Or, pipe salu air. Pipe salu air. Next, veranda. So, in Malay, beranda. But, language reflect the culture. So, veranda is actually roof, open air gallery or porch. Attached to the outside of a building. So, beranda is the space. is a roof also. No walls. Either at the front or at the side. Which basically for people to rest. So, I attach here the picture. And other than beranda, we also call this as anjo. Anjo. But later, I'm going to explain further about anjo. Next, balcony. Balcony. So in Malay, balcony. If proper pronouns, it's supposed to be balcony. But nobody say like that. People normally say balcony. Balcony. So it's basically anjung kecil, small anjung, which at the upper floor level of a house. So that is balcony. Next, patio. Patio. In Malay also called patio. So, it's a paved outdoor area adjoining a house. Next, porch. So, porch is projecting covered entrance to a building. That's porch. It's an entrance to a building and it's covered. But somehow, because of this is the old-fashioned style of Malay house, but somehow with modernization, the house change shape and what we known porch as today that is also what we call as anjo but the original meaning of anjo actually the parts of the house which they make it higher either in the middle or at the side but in the dictionary if you want to say it's exactly at the front then normally you will say anjo rumah because it's normally at the front and the part is extended a bit. But anyway, this to this time, we call porch as anjo. Other than anjo, we also call it as selasa. But selasa is not that common word. But it's basically the connection to the house that leads to outside. So basically selasa is beranda or anjo or another name is Serambi. Serambi. So, you have here the word for porch or veranda as anjo, serambi or selasa. And also beranda. Either words you can use to mention porch. But please remember the traditional type of anjo compared to the current type. Next, bell switch, Swiss loaching, Swiss loaching, Swiss loaching. 
drain lunka 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 bricks batu bata batu bata batu bata next basement tingkat bawah tanah or ruang bawah tanah or tingkat bawah tanah ruang bawah tanah 38 driveway jalan masuk rumah jalan masuk rumah jalan masuk rumah so to make yourself easier you just say driveway but somehow a lot of people still say jalan masuk rumah 39 doorstep anak tangga depan pintu anak tangga depan pintu anak tangga depan pintu number 40 chimney cerobong or chorong or cerobong asap or chorong asap so you can call it cerobong chorong cerobong asap and chorong asap well i guess that's all we lesson for now thank you very much for watching me and if you like my video please check out my patreon page so that i can have more time to make more videos for those of you who support me through this medium thank you very much i really appreciate that and for those of you who's watching me right now thank you very much and till we meet again then bye